Hi, Antonia, Daphne here. Thank you for your kind email. It's very sweet of you. I'm glad that it's helpful and your corrections are fantastic. Really, really good work. I know it takes a long time, but that is a really, really good way to improve, um, to study it and to work out what um, the mistake was, whatever. So here we go. Nowadays, a few people take their family with them abroad whenever they go on a business trip. And remember, a few, we're not talking lots and lots. Is it a positive or negative development in your opinion? And to what extent do you support this development? So we've got two questions inside the question. So two things to look at. Experts across the globe have debated whether overseas family trips during official journeys is highly be beneficial. Okay, so it's not the, don't worry about the overseas because that's, it's almost like the overseas, you could put it here. Ah, oh, I see what you mean. I would move that here. That won't move. Okay. All right, I'll move it there. No. Okay, that should be better. I can edit now, hopefully. Um, yeah, so official overseas journey is highly beneficial. So family trips. So I would... Just here, family trips during official overseas journey, during official overseas journeys, plural, or an official overseas journey, is highly beneficial. In my opinion, the importance of going for business trips with loved ones um, cannot be overstressed, as the advantages far the, uh, outnumber the downsides, yet there could be severe drawbacks such as additional expenses and interruption of mission. Okay, uh, the advantages. Now, this, I, I don't, you've got sort of downsized drawbacks. This whole sentence, this, is a little bit general. Okay, you want to make sure that every part of your essay contributes towards the title. So, uh, when someone puts advantages outnumber the downsides, actually it's just a bit annoying because I think, well, okay, what are the advantages and what are the downsides? I know you're going to tell me, but I don't think you need this. So, I would say, as cannot be of stress as there are several advantages which I hope you're going to tell me yet there could be drawbacks okay that's good you told me what the drawbacks are but you don't need this uh, use examples yes nice good on the one hand there's ample evidence that family outings have paved the way good for groundbreaking discoveries and help the households okay and may Help the household to appreciate their intimacy. Good. Uh, intimacy, maybe, yes, but maybe better their strong bond. Strong bond and maybe both. I think just to add in the language there. That family outings. Now, do you mean family outings in general or family outings during a trip? So maybe you could say, depending on what you mean, I would say accompanied work trips. So I means this is quite neat, the company, that means that they're together, the businessman or woman with the family, and um, paved the way, I really like that, and groundbreaking, really nice. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, family vacations offer likelihoods for uninterrupted bonding as individuals usually feel calm outside their normal environment. We've got usually, so let's have not have usual normal environment, while spending ample time with families, with their fam with with the family or with better each other. Otherwise we're repeating family quite a lot, aren't we? But family vacations yes, but it's the point that you're taking the you're taking the vacation at the same time as a trip. So we need to make sure this is in here. Um firstly family vacations yeah added onto uh a conference or work conference, yeah. My vacations plural of fur, uh, yeah. You would have to say the likelihood that's singular. But uninterrupted bonding as individuals usually feel calm outside their normal environment, um, while spending ample while spending ample time with each other. Nice. Secondly, overseas vacations 
with loved ones in rich lives as people have good memories, new ideas, different perspective for life. Okay, again, watch out. Same point here. It's the whole point about on a work trip, uh, overseas vacations, even if one partner has to work during the day. So make sure you are a bit like the other. Um, essay we had with the word reliance, make sure you absolutely get the question and absolutely address the question. This is so, so crucial. Um, for instance, IMF report, so an IMF report on tourism demonstrated 90% uh, of family vacations in the UK promote global. Well, yeah, fine, but same problem. Yeah. So don't go. Don't go off and tell me holidays are lovely and then tell me about business trip. I want the two connected all the way through. Yep, that's fine. Okay. And so just amend your example to reflect that, that point. Uh, but otherwise, nice vocab and clear arguments. So that's good. On the other hand, many scholars stereotypically believe, good word, and have revealed, don't, uh, careful to change tense here to so present tense and past, but you could have present and present perfect. Have revealed commercial trips with the family might be a distraction. Remember, my favorite words might, may, could be a distraction and more expensive. Good as extra expenditure, expensive expenditure costs. Let's change that word output out, um, outgoing rather. Uh, will be incurred to ensure the vacation is enjoyable. Secondly, yeah, and you're on company time. Additionally, dedicating ample time for the family could result in a lack of concentration. And then, yeah, a bit more, while completing key negotiations, or while selling your company product, or while uh, attempting to complete corporate tasks. Uh, you need a bit more on that sentence. Study conducted uh, by oh, on Malaysia Health Practitioners by, by, by the university uh, indicated that doctors who travel with a household on official purpose, uh, on a, either on official business or for official purposes, that's just the way it uh, sits, on official business or for official purposes, spend additional time and money in achieving their mission. Good. I'm choosing mission. <clears throat> Um, consisting with this line, yep, is it family vacations or salute vacation? Good. Connection of money. Um, may also, also pose a threat to job achievement. Excellent. Job uh, and task um, But very nice. That's a very clear, good example and very good conclusion of the example. That flows really nicely. Nice paragraph. Thus, from the arguments and examples given, Okay, from the argument itself is given, I firmly believe business acquisitions with families, good, that's what we want to be hearing, is indisputably a good thing or a good idea. Um, that should be good. Um, positive, you could have it actually, and you don't have to. When there are checks and balances, as it may help, uh, back to these may help support global learning and experiences absolutely like that. So the citrus will continue to enhance communications uh, while encouraging more. Yeah, absolutely, really strong conclusion, really like that. Good essay there, Antonio, well done. Um, just tell me, um, apologies if you've already told me, what band score are you looking for and why are you doing this exam? Also, have you done it before? It'd be interesting to know a bit about you. So you've eaten at a restaurant. This is a formal letter of complaint. Dear sir, madam, capital letter, capital letter. And I did also notice at the end, uh, you need to put your surname as well. Okay. Just put the surname in there and make it super formal. Uh, dear sir, madam, to indicate my dissatisfaction. Excellent. Um, so you don't need that. We wouldn't put that there. But your cafeteria. And then put this in here, which I have been a loyal customer of, of over five years. 
from that last week. Okay, so this lovely relative clause, good vocab, loyal customer for over five years, lots of, um, so this is not wrong, but I, I would kind of prefer it to go into this to make that a nicer intro sentence. On Monday, 3rd July, you don't need to have third of, we don't write that, we say it, but we don't write it. I visited your bistro to purchase this super packed lunchbox, uh, no capital letter. Uh, I bought this um, pack good with the intention of sharing it with my colleagues. Regrettably, I'm getting the food. Uh, or on delivery, maybe. I discovered the rice had fermented. Ooh, had fermented. So past tense, had fermented. And was more sour than sweet. I reported this. You report something to someone, to customer service. You promise to fix the problem immediately. Uh, fix the problem, maybe replace the meal, but has not replied since then. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, but be a bit more clear on what you want. Did you want a replacement meal or did you want, how did you want them to fix the problem? So fix the problem, I think you might have to say by replacing it or by refunding or whatever. Uh, expand that just so I'm totally understand. I would appreciate it if hypothetical. Appreciate it. It if. The company could refund my money. This is all like a second conditional. Refund my money, verify the cause of the problem and encourage more training. Yes. Good. Excellent. Really nice. Let me just check the word count on that. Okay, oh, well done. Okay, perfect. That's a really, really nice letter. Just those two little things to do, but it's very clear. Just make just make sure I know exactly what you asked for, and then obviously refund, but just expand a tiny bit there. Otherwise, very good letter. Well done. Good tasks.